When this concept finally made sense to me and it clicked, man, my bass fishing just went to an entirely new level. As anglers, as bass anglers, we need to really be thinking about our presentations and our lures at both ends of the speed spectrum. So often we get caught right there in the middle, like what I like to say, stuck in the middle. That's the worst place to be. We either need to be very, very fast with the burning, slashing, cutting, change of direction, start, stop, and get those true reaction bites, or we need to be painstakingly slow with our lures and presentations that look very natural. I don't know how many times, and I know I've showed you this clip before, where I watch a bass come up to a lure that's on the bottom, and then we hop it or move it like we often do and feel we need to, and boom, that fish just darts right away. It is scared off. It was curious, and it was pulled in to that lure falling through the water column, and that is the point where it's got to look very realistic. If we knew how often bass see our lures come up to them and then are turned off and go away, it would drive us crazy. Well, either end of that speed spectrum is the most likely place to get bit. Well, the very best bass anglers in the world, they know this and capitalize this on each time that they go out there. Well, let's talk about the slow end of the spectrum first, because this is the hardest. This is the one I struggle with the most, and I know probably many of you do too. And so what if I go out there and I just can't get myself to fish that slow, where we're just stitching, crawling, barely moving, dragging that lure across the bottom. What I'll try to do is make many short presentations. So I'll cast that lure out there, let it sink through the water column. When it hits bottom, go ahead and then just stitch it or crawl it along for a short distance, then reel it in quickly and make another presentation. If I'm really feeling the juice on a certain day, I'll go ahead and drag it back to the boat or to the shoreline for a longer distance and then swim at the final part of the retrieve. But if I'm not in that type of a mood, I want to fish quicker, but the bass are telling me they want that really slow presentation. Like I said, many short presentations works out well. Now, for the other end of the spectrum, this is my favorite by far, and that is just absolutely working these lures lightning fast. Now, don't get me wrong. It took many years to get the confidence to do this, to sit there and burn that square bill as fast as I can, start, stop, start, stop, just really ripping it. It just feels wrong, right? When you've spent so many years kind of fishing in the middle, but once you start to get a few bites that way and catching fish that others are not catching because you're getting that true reaction, wow, it's such a powerful method. And no matter what lure you're bringing back, okay, spinner bait, uh, jerk bait, whatever, but let's say spinner bait, for example, let's say you're away from the cover and not getting those change of directions, deflections, and you're in open water, just start and stop it like you would a square bill. Rip, rip, start, get those blades to bounce around, and you're still gonna draw those reaction type of strikes. Now let's think about this slow presentation, right? How many times have you, and I know I've done this myself, where I get a backlash or something, we throw that lure out there, and because something happens, it's just sitting on the bottom, and we're tinkering around with our reel or eating a bag of chips, whatever, and then we go to start to fish again, and there's a fish on there. I've caught some really big fish doing this. Well, instead of at the time being like, wow, that told me something. That tells me how slow they want that lure presented. No, I just go back to fishing like normal. If I could go back in time, I'd kick myself and say, hey, what did that just tell you? And speaking of reaction bites, my absolute favorite way to catch a ton of bass quickly is with this method right here. If you'd like to watch that video, go ahead and check this one out and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.